energy consuming appliance at home. Do you know what are the main source of domestic energy? Obviously, the main source of domestic energy is electrical energy, or we say electricity. Energy conversion in electrical appliance. Let's see electric cooker. It converts electrical energy into heat energy and sound energy and the main source of energy output is heat energy. For a washing machine, it turns electrical energy into kinetic energy and sound plus heat energy. In a washing machine, the useful output energy is kinetic energy. For a TV, it also turns electrical energy into light and heat and sound energy. And the useful output energy is light and sound. Let's see some more examples. The electric appliance. For example, electric hot plate. The input energy is electrical. The useful output energy is heat. The waste energy is also heat to surroundings. For a loudspeaker, the input energy again is electrical energy and the useful output energy is sound energy and some energies are wasted in the form of heat. For an electric fan, the input energy again is electrical. In this case, the useful output energy is kinetic energy. And the waste energy is heat and sound. For an electrical appliance, we have end use energy efficiency, which is defined as the ratio of useful output energy over input energy times 100%. Example 1. The input energy is equal to PT, which is equal to 2000 times 4 times 60 equal to 4.8 times 10 to the power 5 joules. And the useful output energy equal to MC delta T equal to 1 times 4200 times 100 minus 20, which is equal to 3.36 times 10 to the power 5 joules. The end use energy efficiency equal to 3.36 times 10 to the power 5 over 4.8 times 10 to the power 5 times 100% which is equal to 70%. End use energy efficiency can also be written equal to the useful output power over the input power. 
For example, two. The useful output power is equal to the end use energy efficiency, which is ninety five percent, times the input power, which is equal to sixty watt. Therefore, the useful output power equal to fifty seven watts. Example three. We have same mass of water, m x equal to m y. Same initial temperature and same final temperature. Therefore, delta t x equal to delta t y, which is equal to one hundred minus the same initial temperature. Therefore, m x c delta t x equal to m y c delta t y. That means they have the same useful output energy. End use energy efficiency and equal to useful output energy over the input energy. And the input energy equal to the power times time, and they have the same power P. Since the useful output energy are the same, and the power are the same, therefore we have n x t x equal to n y t y. Hence, the ratio T x over T y equal to n y over n x equal to ninety over seventy five, which is equal to six over five. Now let's look at lighting. There are three types of lighting used at home, namely, the first one. Incandescent lamp. The second one, gas discharge tube, and the third one is light emitting diodes. They produce light by means of electron transition. What is meant by electron transition? Inside an atom. There are discrete numbers of energy levels. For example, E one, E two. An electron can only reside in certain energy levels. When an electron absorbs enough energy, it will jump to higher energy level. In the diagram. When the electron absorb enough energy, it will jump from energy level E two one to E two. However, electron at higher energy level is unstable. When it returns to lower energy levels, in this case, the electron. Will return from energy level E two to E one. In this case, an energy equal to the difference of energy between the higher and lower energy level will be emitted. In the form of radiation, which is the electromagnetic wave, or we say light wave. Let's first look at how 
incandescent lamps work. An incandescent lamp is another name for filament light bulb. When a voltage is applied to the incandescent lamp, the current will heat up the filament wire to a high temperature, which is about as high as 2500 degrees Celsius. In this temperature, electrons in the filaments will absorb enough energy to jump to different higher energy levels because the energy levels for a metals are closely packed. When these excited electrons returns to lower energy level, electromagnetic wave, or we say light wave of different frequency or different wavelength are emitted. That's why we have white light emitted. Why incandescent lamp is so hot when it works? About 90% of the input electrical energy is converted to heat energy by emitting invisible radiation, which we call infrared. Therefore, the end use efficiency of incandescent lamp is very low. What is the function of the inner gas inside the lamp? The high temperature of the filament device will make it oxidize and evaporate. The inner gas inside the bulb helps to slow down the weight of evaporation of the filament wire. Gas discharge lamps. There are two types of gas discharge lamps, namely Florence tube lamps, FTL, and compact Florence lamps, CFL. How does foreign tip lamps work? When a voltage is applied across the electrode, the electrodes are heat up and emit electrons. These electrons are accelerated between the electrodes and ionize the inner gas inside. Usually, we use argon as the inner gas. They are ionized into positive and negative ions. These ions are attracted towards the electrodes and produce a current. And the currents will vaporize the mercury inside the tube. At the same time, the mercury gas atoms are excited by the ions during collisions, they are excited from the lower energy level to higher energy level. 
the electron transitions of mercury atoms later from the higher energy level to the lower energy level will emit ultraviolet radiation. The phosphor coating on the inside wall of the tube will absorb the ultraviolet radiations and we emit visible light of different frequency. Then how does compact foreign lamps work? The physical process of compact foreign lamp and foreign tube lamps are exactly the same. Except CFL has twisted tube so that it can be fit to incandescent lamp sockets. You must look at for gas discharge lamp. The end use energy efficiency is very high because most of the input electrical energy is converted to light energy. Only a small amount of heat energy is released. Second, the mercury inside the tube makes it not environmental when being disposed because mercury is poisonous. Light emitting dial. What is light emitting dial? LED. An LED is a semiconducting dial, which consists of two types of semiconductor pasted side by side to each other. On the left side is the P type semiconductor material and on the right is the N type semiconductor material. The P type we call positive semiconductor materials has holes in it which behave as if they are positive charge carrier. The N type, we say negative semiconductor material, has excessive electrons, which are negative charge carrier. How does LED emit light? First, a DC voltage is connected to an LED as shown. Notice that the positive terminals should be connected to the P-type semiconductor. An electric field set up across the PN junction. Next, a current is passed through the semiconductor. The negative charged electron in the n-type semiconductor and the positively charged holes are forced to combine together at the PN junction. Here is the PN junction. The electron and holes combine at the PN junction. Because the holes exist at lower energy level than the excessive electrons, the electrons have to move from higher 
energy level to lower energy level. The excess energy is released in the form of EM wave within the visible region. So, visible light is emitted. Notice that LED lights can only work with DC battery. Second, LED lights are usually powered by a 12 volt DC. Next, the frequency or the color of an LED light depends only on the amount of light energy emitted, which is determined only on the type of materials, making the P-type and the N-type semiconductors. Also, the lens of the LED helps to refract the light emitted into a spherical illumination. That means it helps to spread the light in different directions. LEDs are usually used in traffic lights, LED TV, computers, monitor, or LED light bulbs. Next, LEDs are used in automobile headlamps and brake lamps. Also, LEDs can be used in remote controls by emitting infrared light. Then, why we choose LED instead of other light source? Because an LED is instant on. That means it turns on the light immediately. Next, LED is dimmable. Also, LEDs are free of toxic mercury. An LED is recyclable. Also, LED emits virtually low heat, so reduce the risk of fire and save the expense of air conditional fee. For the energy efficiency of a LED, it is about 5 times more efficient than one foreign bulb and 20 times more efficient than an incandescent light bulb. And the long lifespan makes LED reduce replacement and maintenance costs. The lifetime span for an LED is about 50,000 hours for a foreign bulb is about 5,000 hours for an incandescent bulb is about 1,000 hours Let's compare the cost effectiveness of incandescent lamps, gas discharge tube and light emitting diodes in terms of price, lifetime and energy efficiency For incandescent lamps, the price is cheap. For gas discharge lamps, the price is a bit expensive. For LED, the price is also expensive. For the life lifetime, incandescent lamps is about 1,000 hours only. For gas discharge ship is about 5,000 hours and for LED it may be up to 50,000 hours. In terms of energy efficiency, incandescent lamp is low, loss of energy is lost as heat. 
for gas discharge lamps, the energy efficiency is high, which is the same for LED. Eyes response to wavelength of light. The human eyes can detect visible light of wavelengths between 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. However, the eyes is most sensitive to yellow green light with a wavelength of 555 nanometer. Light of other wavelength has to be emitted at higher electrical power to give the same brightness to about which emits light of wavelength 555 nanometers. How to measure the brightness? Brightness is measured in terms of luminous flux phi. Then what is luminous flux? Luminous flux phi is the amount of light energy emitted by light source per second. Or we say luminous flux phi is the light power emit by light source. The unit of luminous flux is lumen. In soft form is Lm. Then what is meant by one lumen? One lumen is defined as the light power of 1 over 683 watt released by a light source emitting light of wavelength 555 nanometer. Or we say, for a 100% efficient lamp emitting light of wavelength 555 nanometer, an electrical power of 1 watt will produce a light power of 683 lumen. Note that two monochromatic lamps of same power but emitting different colors of light will have different luminous flux. Therefore, their brightness are different. In fact, one lumen is approximately the light power emitted by a single candle. What is efficacy? Efficacy is the ratio between the luminous flux of a lamp and the power consumed by the lamp. By definition, efficacy equal to the luminous flux over input electrical power. And the units of efficacy is lumens Per watt. Notice that efficiency is a measure of how energy efficient the light is produced. The greater the efficiency, which means the more energy efficient it is for the lamp. For example, efficiency for an incandescent lamp is 10 lumens per watt and for a performance tube is 100 lumens per watt means that the performance tube has greater energy efficiency. Notice that lumen and watt are not identical. Since lumen is a unit of light power and watt is a unit of electrical power. 
Example 4 Efficacy equal to luminous flux over the power weighting which is 100 over 30 which is equal to 3.33 lumens per watt Example 5 Since both lamps have the same brightness implying that they have the same luminous flux phi therefore the luminous flux of lamp Y equal to the luminous flux of lamp X which is equal to 600 lumens the weight of power of lamp X is equal to flux over efficacy which is equal to 600 over 20 equal to 30 watts power y equal to phi y over e pi y equal to 600 over 40 which is 15 watts Example 6 The cost of electricity per day for the incandescent lamp is equal to 0 0.85 times the energy per day which is equal to 0 0.85 times 0 0.06 times 1 times 5 which is equal to 0 0.255 dollar similarly the cost of electricity per day for the LED lamp is C2 equal to 0 0.85 times energy equal to 0 0.85 times the energy per day is 0 0.006 times 1 times 5 which is equal to 0 0.0255 dollar for part B for the incandescent lamps if it runs for 150 days the total cost is 38.25 dollars for the LED lamp the cost will be 3.825 dollar therefore the total cost for the incandescent lamp is equal to 38.25 dollars plus 20 which is 58.25 dollars while the total cost for the LED lamp would be 3.825 dollar plus 100 which is 103.8 dollar by comparing the total cost you can see that the LED lamps is more cost effective this claim is incorrect what is illuminance? illuminance E at a surface is the luminous flux per unit surface area under the condition that the light is falling 
perpendicularly to the surface. Mathematically, illuminance E equal to luminous flux per unit area. Therefore, E equal to phi over A. Notice that the unit of illuminance is lux in short form Lx and 1 lux equal to 1 lumens per meter square. Then look at case 1. The light source emits light in a fixed direction. For example, the laser pointer emits parallel light in a fixed direction towards the right, shining on a surface of area A. In this case, the illuminance on the surface E equal to luminous flux phi over A. If phi equal to 20 lumens and the area A equal to 0 0.01 meters square then the illuminance is equal to 20 over 0 0.01 which is 2 times 10 to the power 3 lumens per meter square or lux. Case 2. Consider a light source S emitting light evenly in all directions. In the diagram, let phi be the luminous flux of the light source and R be the distance of the source. Since surface area A equal to 4 pi R square, therefore the illuminance at R is E equal to phi over 4 pi r square. Look at the light is perpendicular to the surface. The relation E is proportional to 1 over r square is long as the inverse square law which means that The longer the distance from the source, the smaller the illuminance. Hence, we have R2 larger than R1 and the illuminance at 2 is smaller than that at 1. What happens if the light does not fall perpendicular to the surface. If the light source of luminous fuzz phi falls onto the surface of area A at an angle theta with the normal as shown in the diagram, the luminous flux perpendicular to the surface would be phi pi equal to phi cosine theta. Hence, the illuminance on the surface of area A would be E pi equal to phi pi over A, which is equal to phi over A cosine theta 
which is equal to e cosine theta. Note that e pi proportional to cosine theta, and this is known as the Lambert cosine law. Example 7 For part A, since the light from X to Y is perpendicular to the surface, therefore the illuminance at Y, EY, is equal to the flux per surface area A, which is equal to flux over 4 pi r square equal to 3000 over 4 pi times square of 2 which is equal to 59.7 lux for the illuminance at EZ since the light from X to EZ is at an angle of 60 degrees to the perpendicular. Therefore, we have theta equal to 60 degrees and our pi equal to 2 over cosine 60 degrees, which is equal to 4. Therefore, the illuminance at EZ equal to Pi over 4 pi hours pi square cosine theta equal to 3000 over 4 pi times the square of 4 times cosine 60 degree which is equal to 7.46 lux for part B if the light falls at 90 degree to the normal, that means theta will be equal to 90 degree. In this case, the illuminance will be equal to zero because cosine 90 degree equal to zero. Example 8. Efficacy equal to luminous flux per power weighting. For A, efficacy equal to 1500 over 6, which is 250 lumens per watt. For B, efficacy equal to 1400 over 15, which is equal to 93.3 for C efficacy equal to 1000 over 100 which is 10 lumens per watt only the efficacy of lamp A is higher than 100 therefore he should choose Lam A. For the efficacy, we have the efficacy of LED is generally higher than that of a CFL in terms higher than that of an incandescent lamp. Therefore, we can match. LED is A, CFL is B, while incandescent lamp is C.